Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue on a previous demonstration I did, which uh, shows you how to distribute news items across your organization, across several different site collections. Another way of making sure that you can find your news is, of course, to make it possible to search for those news items. So if you search uh, the site, of course, you'll find the HQ news. But if you search for everything, then of course you'll find the news also. But wouldn't it be cool to make a search vertical for those? Probably you haven't heard search vertical before, but I am 100% certain that you have used a search vertical. So I'm going to search for IT. And when I search everything, I get thrown out to another site collection called the search center, which is built on the template search center. And as you see, I can find a few different things here, uh, but to find the news item that I was looking for is kind of difficult. So I want to make another search vertical to show only news items. It's a couple of clicks, about 20 clicks or so, but it's not super difficult. So once you get into it, then I'm sure you'll understand this. So high level steps are to create a new page, add a page, and that will be a search result page. Then I'm going to modify the web part. This is the web part that shows the search results. Then I'm going to publish that. And then I'm going to add it to the navigation up here. Those are the high level steps. So I'm going to go through those now. So first I'm going to add a page. I'm going to call it news results just to be consistent. And this is a web part page now being created, not a wiki page. I can't just type into this. I have to modify the web parts. So the one I want to modify is this, the search results edit web part and then I want to do almost exactly the same thing that I did in my previous demo I want to change the query I'm going to switch to quick mode so we have exactly the same as before the items matching a content type don't restrict the result by app is default here that's what I want and I want to have items matching a content type there we go and I'm going to select the announcements just like I did in the previous demo in the content search web part and here I have all my six items. Excellent. That's the way. And then I can select. You see that's similar thing here. Display templates. I have some other things I can modify here. It's not exactly the same as the content search result web part, but almost the same. So I'm going to apply this now. And then I'm going to publish the page. No comments on that. And now you see it's just searching news items, just as I intended. So if I search for IT, I get the two IT news there. So that's how it works. So now I'm just going to add this to the navigation up here. So I'm going to go into site settings and the navigation is here under search settings. So here I'll add a link. I'll call that news. And I'll browse for the page and the page is of course in the pages library within my search site collection. And I'll find the um, news results that I just created about a minute ago. I'll insert that and then OK. As you see here, I can of course change the order also. And then I'm going to click OK. And now I'll go back to the start page of my search center, search for IT. And uh, I get everything here. When I go into news, I find only those two news items there. So that shows you how to build a search verticals. It's quite a few clicks, but the main steps are adding a page, modifying the web part, the search result web part, publishing the page, and adding it to the navigation. And that's done under site settings and search settings. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching this demonstration.